the first thing I did after waking up was check my phone. And I saw that there were many missed calls from Ty at 3 am. I also noticed that he sent a lot of voice messages. Which is strange. Last time I checked there was no message from him. I'm now all this. I walked to the kitchen with my phone in hand and made some breakfast. While I was eating I decided to hear the voice messages. So I played the first voice message I sent. And I was surprised to hear Ty's drunk voice. Hey Cookie I'm at the club with Soga and Hobby here. I'm missing you. Why don't you come here? How Ty must be so drunk. I can say his other voice messages are like this too. Let's play next voice message he sent. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast with hearing his sweet voice. Cookie I want to tell you something. Actually I've been keeping a secret from you for about a year or was it two years? Um I don't remember. Oh wait I can't tell you my secret because then it wouldn't be a secret anymore. And you will be mad at me really mad. And it could ruin our friendship. Yeah I can't tell you so from this moment on you are gonna forget. That I told you I had a secret. Or I wouldn't buy you that banana milk anymore that I always buy for us. And I pretend that I like. Just because you love it. And I know you won't let me buy it. Because that would be wasting my money on you. Even though I don't mind spending it on you. Because it makes you happy. And I like seeing you happy anyway. I'm gonna go. I need to call Jim and to tell him something. Unexpected. I thought I always told me everything. I need to find out what is that secret he's keeping from me. You are Jimina why are you not answering my call? Do you know I almost told Cookie my secret. That would have been so stupid of me. I just don't know what I would do. If he finds out my secret. It's so hard to hide this from him. I should why my life is so difficult. If only there was a way I could tell him. And we'd be happy. But that's not gonna happen. You know what I have the answer to my problems. I'm gonna drink them away. Yeah that's what I'm gonna do. Okay now bye Jimina thanks for hearing me. What would I do without you? I almost laughed after hearing Tyza's voice message. Because he mistakenly sent this voice message to me. But he think he is sending this to Jimin Heung. I probably would've laughed. If I wasn't so worried about the stupid secret he is keeping from me. Cookie I'm so drunk right now. And I feel so lonely. I always feel lonely without you. But today I feel lonelier. Which is not good it's bad very very bad. Why don't you answer my call and talk to me. I want to hear your voice. Cookie I've called you like a million times. Why don't you answer my calls. See here I am feeling all lonely and sad. And you are probably sleeping happily. I'm so sorry for talking to you like this. I'm really going crazy. It's just that I'm mad because I can't tell you that I... I can't tell you that. Okay now bye. I why he don't tell me the secret he is hiding from me. Now I'm getting impatient. You know I'm so tired of keeping this secret from you. You know what? I love you Cookie. But not as a friend. I love you as a person. I want you more than a friend. I want to be with you. I want to hold you tightly. I want to cuddle with you. I want to comfort you whenever you're sad. I want to kiss you whenever I want. I want to be able to hold your hand and tell everybody that you're mine. I want to make you happy. I've been trying to tell you this for so long. But I didn't tell you. Just because I don't want to lose you. I don't want to ruin our friendship. But I feel pain when you are near me but still I feel you are so far away from me. I just wish you to know that I can give you my life without even thinking it twice. You're my everything. I love you Cookie. I love you so much. And I hope you will feel my love one day. I was crying by this point. I sounded so broken. 
I just can't believe what I heard right now. Is Sai really in love with me? Or he said all of this just because he drank too much? I need to know this. I'm gonna go to him right now. I went to my room and changed into some decent clothes. And then I hurried back down the stairs. I went to the kitchen to pick up my phone. Then I was putting my shoes when there was a knock in the door. Sheet isn't this freaking great when I have nothing to do nobody visits me. But when I'm about to go and do something important. Someone comes knocking at my door. No matter whoever it is. It's better be something important. Or I'm gonna kick them out. I thought walking towards the door. Then I opened the door. And I was shocked to see Ty standing there looking like a complete wreck. His hair was messier than usual. It looks like he's been running his hands through it a lot which is typical of Ty to do. When he's nervous or anxious. He had bags under his eyes. And he looked stressed. Ty, are you okay? I asked concerned. He stared at me for a moment. You already heard all voice messages right. Damn, I'm too late. I'm so sorry, Cookie. I wasn't supposed to tell you like that. I wasn't even gonna tell you. Ty said while running his hands through his hair. Ah, oh, what are you talking about? What voice messages? I want to ask Ty if he really loved me. But seeing his condition I thought to pretend that I didn't heard his voice messages. As I'm also nervous to know his answer. Cookie stop pretending. Because I know you have the habit of checking my messages in the morning. And I can tell that you already listened all of my voice messages. Looking at me Ty said with so much emotions on his deep ocean eyes. Yeah, you're right, I did listen to all of your voice messages. And I was about to go to your house to ask you about it. So how about you enter inside? And we talk about it. I said opening the door wider so Ty could come in. Ty nodded his head and came inside. Now Ty is sitting on sofa. I sit beside him. He isn't looking at me. He looks nervous. Ty come and look at me. I said looking at Chai. He looked at me then back down. I'm sorry. It's just that this is so hard for me. I've been keeping this secret from you for almost 4 years. I was looking for a way to tell you my feelings without ruining our friendship. But see what I did. I confess to you by a stupid voice messages. When I'm drunk. And now I don't know what's gonna happen between us. Because. Seeing this Ty stayed quiet. So I asked him. Because what Chai? I need to know if he truly loves me. I need to hear it from him. I love you. I have feelings for you. You know how hard it is for me to be your best friend. Having you so close to me yet you are so far away. Having to hear you talk about girls. Encouraging you to talk to them even though it kills me inside. Not being able to tell you how I really feel. Not being able to kiss you and hug you whenever I want. And tell the world that you're mine. Having to keep it all inside my heart. Just to see you happy and have you close to me. It's too hard and I don't know if I can keep doing this. You don't have to do that anymore. I said looking at his deep ocean eyes. What? No please don't tell me to stay away from you. I can't please. Don't break our friendship for my stupid mistake. I don't want our friendship ruined like this. Ty said in broken voice. And it breaks my heart. Ty listen to me first. I'm not going to break our friendship. And why would I? When I've always had feelings for you too. I just pushed my old feelings away. Because I thought you would never like me that way. Really? Are you serious? I asked looking at me with so much hope, but I'm sure at the same time. Yeah I'm 1000% sure. Why would I joke in this serious situation? Hearing me die is looking at my eyes deeply. I am also looking into his eyes. 
No one is breaking the eye contact. Does this mean I can kiss you right now? Ty said cupping my cheeks with his warm hands. I only nodded my head. As I don't want to ruin the moment. Ty started to lean in. And I did the same till finally our lips touched. It was a simple kiss. But I enjoyed every moment of it. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Ty said after breaking the kiss. Me too. Saying this I gave him a tight hug. Feeling so happy that we finally confessed our feelings to each other. I love you cookie. Be mine. Ty said hugging me tightly. I love you too Chai. And I'm already yours. Nuzzling my face into his neck I said. I wanted to hug him like this for a long time. I hope I will always stay in his warm embrace like this. The end. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and share. Because it would inspire me to write more FF like this. Purple you all my purple soul tea cookers.